everybody. I'm Hillary Atkin from the Atkin Report, and I am delighted to welcome Brooke Simpson from America's Got Talent to this edition of Hillary's Happy Hour. Brooke, how are you doing? I'm so good, and I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me, Hillary. You are so welcome, Brooke. I got to tell you, your performance on AGT with your husband, Ray, was just a knockout. And of course, all the judges gave you a yes. How did you feel when that happened? It felt surreal. I mean, you know, AGT is a completely different ball game. Like it's it's not just a competition where I'm, uh, you know, up against other people who are other singers, but it's all talents of all kinds, like magicians, aerialists, harrialists, like everything, right? right. So it's definitely um, very intimidating, but it was also so inspiring. Um, so once we got on stage, we were just amped up from seeing everyone else and um, it was awesome. And singing in front of Simon, that's been a dream of mine forever. <laughs> Well, I fondly remember you from another competition show when you were on The Voice in 2017. And for your blind audition, you got the four chair turn and you went with Team Miley Cyrus. So yeah. what was that experience like and did it help you in your preparation for AGT? Um, I mean, it was an incredible experience. I feel like it showed me a lot about who I am as an artist. Um, and it helped me find myself more so as an artist, like what I want, what's my sound. Um, and it gave me a platform um, to actually uh, start really trying to do this thing full time, you know? So I moved out to LA, like it opened a lot of doors for me, but it is completely different because again, I'm not just, you know, up against other singers, but, um, all different types of talented, incredible people. Uh, so it's definitely a, a challenge, but I'm up for it. And I'm so excited to be a part of this season. Well, tell us about the kind of support you, you're getting from your hometown, your community. And I wanna hear about your tribe and going to powwows from when you were very young. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my hometown, they are, they are like an entire family, you know, it's about 4,000 people, the entire town. Um, so knowing that, I mean, they're all rooting for me. Like it's the biggest family reunion ever just waiting. Um, so I, I'm just so grateful for them and I'm so grateful for their support. Um, and growing up on the tribal grounds and even for a few years, going to tribal school, going to powwows and dancing in the powwows. I mean, it was incredible. But what's so funny is just because it was just normal life. A lot of times when people ask, what was that like? I'm like, oh, it was just normal. But, you know, I, I have to remember that wasn't just life for everyone, you know? <laughs> well, with that background that you have, though, what got you into performing and now you're professionally performing? Yeah, well, it actually all rooted from my mom and dad. They're both ministers and singers. So they, their full-time job is traveling and singing. So ever since I was born, I kind of was just th not thrown in a negative way, but thrown into tour life. Like every weekend we're going to a different church. I have a frilly dress on singing Jita Sluff Me. Um, so growing up, I just, I didn't have actual vocal training, but my training was listening to my mom. Um, so that what made me the singer I am. And I think that's another reason why, other than the fact that it's all I love in the world, um, it's all I know. Well, you've said that you want, your dream is to be the first indigenous pop star. Yeah. That would be so amazing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, I just thinking about it, I love how we are in an era where people are being unapologetically themselves. And I mean, we have Lizzo breaking boundaries and doors. We have like so many different artists doing so many things for people who have never seen themselves represented on TV um, or in any capacity in media. And it makes my heart so happy, but it also, you know, makes me sad that, um, and of course I'm not trying to discount any native artist that, that I am unaware of, but um, as a little girl looking up to these pop stars and these divas, I've always thought like, man, I wish there was someone 
who was just like me as a reminder and a visual representation that I can do that too. It's, it's me too. Like I'm not forgotten. So now that I'm older, I, um, I want to be that for the next generation. I don't want it to be this constant domino effect of, um, we're just wondering if we can, we can. You certainly can. And you, you mentioned Lizzo, but you chose her song for your yes. audition at AGT because I love you. But the love between you and your husband was also palpable as well. <laughs> right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, me and Ray, we've been married for like almost, I think, seven years. I'm not going to lie. I lose track. Like it's, it's been so long now, but he's just my best friend and truly my partner just in life, um, in music. Um, he, he's just everything. So having him on stage for such a big moment, that was kind of a defining moment of whether I get to go on this journey or not having him with me and accompanying me, it was like having my entire world on stage with me, you know? So it was incredible. What are you looking forward to during the rest of the season? Oh, girl, all of it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm definitely nervous, of course, like I'm human, but I'm, those nerves are kind of turning into adrenaline and now I'm getting so pumped, like, oh my gosh, so the lives, like if, you know, when that happens, like, what am I going to sing? How am I going to bring it every single week? How am I going to make it dynamic, but different? Like, um, just thinking of all those things. And then also thinking of, uh, the wisdom that I can gain from the judges and as well as getting more exposure for more people to hear my music and hear my voice and to be that representation for indigenous little girls and boys. Um, I'm very excited to say the least. <laughs> Wow, Brooke, I, I share that dream with you. And I we're wrapping up our happy hour. So I wanted to propose a toast to you to yes. your continued success on America's Got Talent. And thank everyone. you. <laughs> yes, clink, clink with the iced coffee. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Here.